All right, let's get it rolling. It's 316. Hallelujah, people of God. We are so grateful that you're able to join us one more time. We're grateful for your uh, faithfulness and laboring in prayer with us. Uh, God is honoring our prayers, as we know, and, and we thank God for uh, you standing with us. As we learned and reminded, uh, we were reminded we are essential in the name of Jesus because our prayers are essential for the nations. And so um, we're blessed today. One of my favorite people in the whole wide world is on the line with us today. Uh, Pastor Gerald Mahan, he's an evangelist. He's um, got his own ministry, Gerald Mahan Ministry, but he also serves as the evangelist over at First Assembly of God in Alexandria. Great, powerful. They call him Gerald Fire Shut Up In My Bones Mahan. He would come to the prison when I was a chaplain there and just tear the place up. By the time he finished, <laughs> just tear the place up. <laughs> But what a blessing he is. Amen. Um, so I'm going to let him greet you afterward. But let me start as we normally do. We're going to start with a prayer of repentance. And today I'm going to pray it. But I'm going to start with the scripture. I'm coming out of 1 Peter chapter number 5. I'm going to read the B portion of chapter 5, verse 5, and then chapter 6. It says, <clears throat> excuse me, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, Humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. And that's what we do each day before we even beseech God or, or su submit our supplications, our petitions before him. And that's to humble ourselves and ask him to cleanse us and cleanse our land. So let's go before the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for another day. We thank you, God, for another opportunity to come before your throne of grace. We know it's you and you alone, even, that has made a way through your son, Jesus Christ, that we could come boldly oh God, to you each day. We come with humility in our hearts, recognizing, Father, that we haven't done all the things that we should do. We have fallen short of your glory. We have missed the mark. We have failed to do the things that you have ordained for us to do. I found myself, Lord, even thinking of how we disobey you as I walk through the grocery store and they got the arrows on the floor and everybody's going against the arrows. And I heard the Holy Ghost saying to me then, just like my people will not obey me, people won't obey these simple rules. Lord, help us to be obedient. Help us to obey your word. Help us to walk worthy of the Lord Jesus Christ. We cry out for this land, God. Make us a land of obedience, a land of people who are submitted to you, almighty King, in the name of Jesus. We come crying out on behalf of this nation. Have mercy on us, oh God. Don't treat us as our sins deserve. Have mercy on us individually. Have mercy on us collectively. Oh, God, as a family, we cry out to you. Have yes. mercy on us and yes. hear our cries today. We yes. ask all of this, God. We humble ourselves because your word says if we would humble ourselves, you would exalt us. And yes. so we trust and believe your word. It's in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that we pray, O King. Amen and amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. As I said, I'm excited about my guest because this man of God just full of wisdom and loves the Lord. I'm going to let him come and share. But this is Pastor Gerald Mahan of the First Assembly uh, God. I'm sorry. First Assembly of God in Alexandria. And he's the evangelist there. And he also has his own ministry. So, Pastor, go ahead and share with us. Hey, man. Thank you so much, Chaplain Carr. You're a great woman of God. You're a woman after the things of God. You walk in integrity. You walk in the spirit of God. I just want to say thank you so much for giving me an opportunity to share the word of God. I want to take a few minutes uh, and share the word of God. Uh, the word of God says what Paul wrote to the church in Philippi. I love this scripture in Philippians 1, 6. It said, being very confident of this one thing, he was begun a good work in you. He will perform it completed until the day of Jesus Christ. When Paul writes this letter, he writes this letter to encourage them to build them up in the things of God. So this, 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 at this time, I want to encourage and build you up and let you know God is working it out. God is a God that will not fail us. He will not forsake us. He will bring us through. The battle is not ours. It belongs to the Lord. Paul even told him in Philippians chapter 4, verse 6, he said, be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God and the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds 
through Christ Jesus. He even tells the church that in Philippi in Philippians 2, 5, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. He even tells them that in Philippi in Philippians, he says in Philippians 4, 19, but my God shall supply all my need according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. He even tells them in Philippians 4, 13, I can do all things through Christ which strengthen us. And I want to say to those that are listening today, the Bible teaches us when an enemy comes in like a flood, that the spirit of the living God will raise up a standard. Yes. If it ever been a time that we need to trust God, it's now. The Bible says in Proverbs 3, 5, and 6, trust in the Lord with all thy heart, lean not to the own understanding, but acknowledge him in all your ways, and he shall direct your path. The Bible teaches us that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. The Bible teaches us in Romans 8.31, what shall we say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? I want to say to those that are listening today, God is working it out. Yeah. God was working it out. He's yeah. on your side. People all shook up. What are we going to do? Evangelist may have with everything that's going on with the virus. What's going on? Let me tell you this. God has never made a mistake. Yeah. The, the Bible teaches us today as we stand on the word of God. And I'm going to trust God. I'm going to believe God. Because we walk by faith and not by sight. The Bible teaches us in Hebrews 11, 1, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. The Bible teaches us in Hebrews 11, 6, but without faith it's impossible to please God. He that cometh to God must believe that he is with water to them that dinner to seek him. And I want to say today, no matter what's going on and what's going on in the world today, I believe without a shadow of a doubt that it's time for the church of the Lord Jesus Christ to rise up and keep the fire burning. The devil will do everything he can to try to put out fire. But the Bible teaches us in John 10, 10 that the thief cometh to steal, kill, and to destroy. But he forgot what Jesus said. Jesus said, I have come that they might have life and have life more abundant. Let me say this today. This joy that I have, the world didn't give it to me, and the world can't take it away. People say, well, Brother Rahab, why do you stand on the word of God? Well, the Bible teaches us in Psalms 37, verse 4, delight thyself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of thy heart. God is worthy to be praised. Jesus Christ is the answer to every problem. The Bible says, glory to God. You was reading out of 1 Peter. I love that passage of scripture in 1 Peter 5, 7. Casting all your cares upon That's him, right. for he cares for you. Glory to God. When I think about the word of God in Psalm 46, verse 1, God is our reference in the strength, a very present help in trouble. You're looking at a man here today, 31 years ago, when society said, I'll never be anything. They said, you'll never get on the drugs and alcohol. But let me tell you, the Bible says, whom the Son of God set free is free indeed. And I want to say today, God is still God, and he's God all by himself. The Bible, to a good God of mine, I'm just getting fired up, man. Uh, chapter Cop, I'm just getting fired up. I know I just got a few minutes here, but I want to share a scripture that I love so much. The Bible says in Isaiah 41, verse 10, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. And I want you to know today, put your faith in God. Put your trust in God. Don't let the devil rob you of your joy. Don't let him take your victory. Don't let him take your peace because he's on his job, but we're on our job. The Bible says the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, it dwells in you. And he that is in 
you is greater than he that is in the world. I thank God today that we are victorious because my faith is in Jesus Christ and Jesus alone. He alone is worthy to be praised. My God, I don't know about you, but I feel the fire. I feel the anointing of God because the Bible says if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from the wicked ways. He promised he'll forgive our sins. He would heal our land. Glory to God. Let me say this today. If you're listening and you're going through a test, just hold on. Just hold on. Just hold on. Keep filling your mind with the word of God. Keep standing on the word of God because the victory is on its way. We Amen. will not be defeated. This is event is Gerald fire shut up in his bones may have faith in God will give you a victory glory to God amen amen why well, I feel like we just shot him out of a cannon <laughs> he came out all all guns all loaded bullets flying <laughs> but praise be to God I thank God for him he didn't even share the fullness of his testimony he is as you can see a man on fire from God but God delivered him from crack he delivered him from drugs uh, drinking all of that and when the world as he said wrote him off he called on the name of the Lord and God delivered him so for those who are praying for people who need to be delivered here is a living testimony of what our God can do he got a breakthrough and he ain't never looked back. That brother's on fire. He takes groups of people all around the world to minister. He preaches all over the world. God is able. And as he already shared uh, in uh, First Peter, I didn't read that second part of the verse because I was going to share it. Well, I can share it now. That he said, cast all your cares on me because I care for you. The word that God gave me today I was I woke up early yesterday and um and I just believe it was the Lord uh admonishing me to share this with all of us. And this is in Isaiah chapter number 52 and I'm reading verse number 2. Number 10, pardon me. It says the Lord has made bare his holy arm in the eyes of all the nations and all the ends of the earth shall see. My the salvation of our God. God has said, have I got your attention now? The good news is he's working it out. As yes. we cry out to him, he's working it out, but he's letting the whole world. I was talking to someone earlier. When have you thought of a, can you remember a time in our lifetime where the whole world shut down, where the whole world shut down? And he said, the nations, the entire yes. world will see my salvation. Yes. So when we pray today, let's pray with a bonus that God is hearing our cry and that indeed he will bring salvation and deliverance throughout this world. Let's all pray together now. Yes. Hallelujah. We bless you. We thank you, God. Great is your faithfulness, Almighty King. We trust you, God, that you're doing this thing, that you have heard our cries as we humbled ourselves, and we're now casting our cares on you, as your word tells us, because you care for us. We believe, God, by faith that you're going to work every situation out, every person's name who is being called out, God. We believe by faith that you're going to bring deliverance, you're going to bring healing. You're no respect of person. Even as Gerald called on your name and you delivered him, God, we are calling on your name and asking you to deliver those who are sick, deliver those who are bound by drugs, by whatever they're bound by, in the name of Jesus, the Holy One of Israel. Move in a miraculous way. Move in a mighty way. Let the shadow of your wings fall upon this nation right now, God. In the name of Jesus, God. Break every chain, destroy every yoke, move in a miraculous light. Oh God, even as he said, as the enemy comes in like a flood, you said you will raise up a yes, standard. Lord. Even Hallelujah. now, oh God, raise up a standard of your yes, land that the yes, people of God and the people who are lost will yes, hear and know that yes, sure there is a God. And yes, sure you are that God. There's oh, none beside you, yes, there's none even close to yes, you. You are the great I am. You are King oh, of Kings. You are Lord. 
of lords. Yes, Lord. We decree, God, that we are your people. And we humble ourselves before you. And we yes, cry, Lord God, have your way in us. Oh God, yes, every sick person, every yes, name even that's written on this board, God, I yes, agreement in the yes, name Lord. of Jesus that you would bring healing in yes, the name Lord. of God. That you yes, would bring Lord. healing to my sister Mary. Oh, to God. Healing, oh God, to yes, even, uh, my sister Leslie's son, Lord God, and her yes, nephew, Lord. Denzel, Lord God, and even yes, her Lord. son. Uh, JD, Lord God, Over to in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we know that you're able. In Over the name of Jesus, Jesus. we're proud over those who Over are God. providing care. Dr. Yes, Ian, Dr. A, we're proud over yes, Jackie Bradley. We're proud yes, over uh, Vanessa Campbell. We're proud to over God. every nurse, every yes, doctor, every person Over that goes out into the land to heal. And yes, we used even as care yes, and EMTs and officers Over. and People yes. who are working for the state and have yes, the jobs that they have to Over do, to even those yes, who are researching and even yes, those who are getting potentially exposed to this thing, protect yes, God, coming Over by the God. blood of Jesus. Yes, even Lord. now, Father, we cry yes, for Selena Jones. Bring Over her up out of that place, oh God. Yes, Bring Lord. her up, Holy One. The doctors yes, are confounded, but you're not confounded. In yes, the Lord. name of Jesus, our Jesus. brother Jacob said, bring her up, oh God, Over out of that God. place. In yes, the Lord. name of Jesus. Jesus, we know you are well able. To God. In the yes, name Lord. of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm yes. proud, Lord God. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus for Marie Jesus. Joy. God move in a miraculous way. In the name of yes, Lord Jesus. I'm proud for Paul Lord and Paul. Jeremy yes. in it. Yes. Yes, Lord. Excuse me, Brendan, Lord God, in yes, the Lord. name of Jesus, the meet the Lord God, in the name over of to God. Let your divine will be done in their lives. I believe yes, the blood of Jesus over every name yes, that's in the head. Holy, let Lord, you know every circumstance, every God. situation, over those to who God. need to be healed, those who yes, need to be delivered, those who need to be set free. God, yes, Lord. your work is only you can. Hallelujah. Break the chains, Lord. Go over Hear to your God. people's cries right now. Yes, They're Lord. crying out to you, God. And Go over you, Father God. God, who answers. Your word yes. tells us that your ears are attentive to the yes, Lord. of the righteous. Yes, Lord. Hear our cries right now. Yes, Lord. Turn situations around. Defy yes, the people who don't know how to yes. get uh, your yes, hand Lord. or see your Go hand. To God. Think that is impossible. Lord. Defy Lord. their understanding. Lord. Nothing yes. is impossible for you, oh God. Yes, Lord. Even those who Lord have tried their best and simply don't know what else to do. Oh yes, God, Lord. after you've done all the stand, your words tell yes. us to stay yes, and see the salvation of the Lord. We are yes, standing Lord. on the promises of God. Yes. We are standing, God, God, believing yes, Lord, you Jesus. for great things to come through to in God. the name of Jesus. Jesus. Believing you for miracles right Forward now. To God. This week, this yes, day, Lord. this hour, miracles, yes, God. Let yes. your miracles birth forth yes, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We love you, Father. Lord. We bless yes, you. We praise you. Yes, Lord. We thank you for Hallelujah. every prayer warrior on this line. Forward bless their God. lives. Bless their families. Bless yes, them Lord. and keep them in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord. We love you, oh God, and yes, we thank you for hearing our cries in yes. the matchless name of Jesus, God. Yes, Lord. You are worthy to be worthy here. to be there's here. none like you. Go over to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank Hallelujah. you, Lord. Jesus' name. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. Unmuted. Praise God. Amen. Pastor, you can go ahead and pray. Amen. Amen. I want to say this today. Also, I want to pray for the lost with Chaplain Carr. Uh, the loss. When you look at a man like me standing here, my mother prayed for me when I was out there in Vietnam, vet, two purple hearts. You know, I got tied up in drugs and alcohol, killed me for 18 years, seven detox centers, in and out of jail. My life was messed up. But I had a praying mother that stood on the word of God. So I want to pray for those that have family members that's away from God, uh, those that were once on fire for God, is backslid, backslidden. I want to see them come back in in this time. So we know God is able. So I want to pray for the lost. And I just want to encourage and build you up in the things of God. I want to pray for all those that are working in the hospital, the doctors, uh, the nurses, the caregivers. Each one I want to pray that God will just do great and mighty things. And if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ and you're listening to me today, well, the Bible says this. I love it. In Luke 19, 10, for the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9, and 10 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in our heart that God is raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man is made unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So if you listen to me today 
and you've never made Jesus Lord of your life, and once you knew God and right now you're away from him, today is the day of salvation. I want to pray a prayer with you. Father, I pray in Jesus' name. If you're listening to me today and you want to give your heart to Christ, I want you to repeat this prayer after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I confess that I am a sinner. And I ask you, Jesus, to forgive me of all my sins. Jesus, come into my heart and be the Lord of my life. Jesus, I thank you for saving my soul. Thank you for setting me free in Jesus' name. If you prayed that prayer right there, I want you to get in touch with Chaplain Carl. Let her know you prayed that prayer. Well, let's close. Let's pray right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for this time with Chaplain Carr, a great woman of God. Father, have laid time aside each day to encourage and build up and to pray uh, for this nation and praying for the nurses and praying for the world. And I just pray in Jesus' name by the power of the Spirit of God, Father, that you will continue to do great and mighty things. God, we know today that you're able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all we could ask and think according to the power that worked within us. And Father, I thank you that I serve a God that not only hears my prayers, but a God that will answer. Because you said in your word in Jeremiah 33, 3, call unto me and I will answer. And I will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Father, we believe in you for a great outpouring of the Spirit of God. And I pray God, that you would revive each one that's listening today. I plead the blood of Jesus over them, over their homes, over their finances, over their health. Or oh, I just pray right there by the power of the Spirit of God. Father, you will continue to do great and mighty things in our lives. We thank you today that we are overcomers. We thank you for victory today. And Father, we pray in Jesus' name. We thank you, God, that you are God that will not fail us. You are God God that will bring us through. And right now I pray in the name that's above every name, the name of Jesus Christ, because every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that you are Lord to the glory of the Father. And Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor in Jesus' name. Amen, and amen, and amen, and amen. Amen, amen, amen. Ain't nobody mad but the devil right above now. Praise amen. God. Thank amen. you so much, Pastor Gerald Mayhem, powerful man of God. Thank you for that powerful prayer and testimony. Just sharing to encourage us today because we know in the course of just continuing to seek and pray, sometimes people get discouraged, get a little weary. So it's always a blessing to have a fresh word of encouragement. So we appreciate that. Amen. And so we are thankful for another opportunity to come and pray and looking out for, uh, I mean, and, and lifting up the name of Jesus. We thank everybody on the line who has joined us today. Uh, great is God's faithfulness and great has been your faithfulness. So we know God is going to bless you. He said he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek yes, him. Yes. So you can't outgive God. Just think about all the hours you spent praying. God's going to bless your life. Amen. So we Praise are grateful you. for each of you. And of course, we're going to end with our song. And of course, Pastor, when you say he's working it out, I say he sure is because that's the song we got today. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Man, I feel God. I feel, I feel that anointing on this ball, right. man. So let's go ahead and end with that. We'll see you tomorrow at 316.